Hi, and welcome to my Whiskey Den. And this week we're going to look at Redemption Bourbon. It's another one that snuck its way out of Indiana. Redemption Bourbon actually comes from the Sorry, not screwing that one up. They actually bring it to market. They proudly say on their website that it actually comes from MGP in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Says it on the back of the bottle. So they're totally honest and upfront about it right away. And that is outstanding because there's a lot of people in the past who used to hide that type of thing. And really, over the years now, there have been a lot of good things that have actually come out of MGP. So I don't know if there's too many people that can actually actually crap on it for too much longer because it's actually doing some really nice things. Um, not to say that everything is, but I've had some really nice stuff that's come out of there. So, glass was way the hell away today. Let's hear that cork pop. Not bad, not bad. Now, the mash bill on this one is 75% corn, 21% rye, and I think 4% malted barley. Now, it's got actually a pretty nice ambery color, a little bit of orange in there, kind of closer up more towards the edges of it. And it kind of, yeah, an ambery orange kind of color. I, I kind of dig that. Now, it's also 84 proof, so 42% alcohol by volume. And you can tell that on the nose, there's nothing really spiky or aggressive in it. It's pretty approachable right away, like you would, like you would expect at that proof. There's a wood note in here. I it typically would say oak, but it almost smells like a different type of wood. A little bit fresher, lighter, but it's not uh, on the nose. It's not like a green, kind of a green wood where it's not really an aged or non kiln dried wood. And it's supposed to be in the barrel a minimum of six months, but an average of two and a half years. Um, there's a lot of light notes. There's almost a bit of apricot in there. Sorry, I was getting lost and trying to figure out what the what the barrel note was in there. I, was, I got lost in that for a second. Cinnamon, caramel, little bit of a nut note in there. There's a lot in there. It's very light and subtle. It almost smells like a nice blend where it's very married together on the nose. And almost a little dark fruit. A little hint of dark fruit in there. Almost, and there's like a, a little bit of nutmeg. There's a lot of smells in here. It might have been what I ate that I'm getting this much stuff off it right now, but let's get a taste in. It is light and approachable. <clears throat> it picks up in the middle, kind of levels off at let's say a quarter of the way up heat wise. And kind of sticks, it's sticking around now, so it's still up there, but I mean it's sticking around, but it's not very high on the, on the heat scale or anything like that. It was actually very, very pleasant, didn't hear much at first, and then it was like a rush. Yeah, you can tell the corn is sweet almost the whole way through. You can tell it's a corn heavy base, but you are getting cinnamon, like a nutmeggy kind of, kind of flavor. Maybe it's cardamom. I, I need to get that sit down with a couple of the spices and really go over that a little bit better, but um, probably a cardamom, I would think. Yeah, and there's like a little light fruit 
in the front part of it too. And this is actually really nice. Very approachable. I can see why they have such a wide expanse of bourbon that they're bringing out. They have a rye, they have a high rye, and then they go into like a nine year old in the ryes and in the bourbons that are cask strength. And I think they have like one other one. So they have a pretty big variety. And if this is the first indicator of it, I'm actually going to be pretty pleased to try it. So, or try the rest of them, that is. Yeah, caramely vanilla. Now on that third one, that up front, what I wasn't getting right away, rest I was kind of passing over it. Third time was kind of caramel vanilla up front, and then it started to roll back. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with this. So, let's, uh, let's think of a score here. There's almost a bit of honey in there too. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, this is actually, for if it's a minimum of six months and only two and a half years on average, this is some really tasty stuff. Um, now I got it on sale, so once again, I'm not gonna mention the price, but I should have gotten more. Um, but like I said, happy to try all the other ones that are be coming out and there's plenty of bottles of that. So. I'm gonna go three nine. I'm gonna I'm gonna go three nine on this one. This one's a very good approachable uh, first time bourbon drinker. But I was gonna say if you're a little more experienced, you're gonna get some of the deeper nuances that are in there. Yeah, and I think some of I bet you the cask strength might be some of them that break into that four region for me. So I'm excited about seeing the rest of the <sighs> Redemption bourbon stuff or redemption line. And so, from my den to yours, remember, it's not the size of the den that matters, it's the love of the whiskey. Cheers.